cost developmental plan for the art and entertainment, I think what we'll be looking into is to ensure that Lagos State takes its rightful position in Africa as the fifth destination that we should be talking about in another 10 years. So in another 30 years, it should be the best destination the world will be looking into as far as Africa is concerned. And I think we are already on the pedestrian of achieving that, but there are a few things that we need to be doing going forward. So in another 30 years, what we're expecting to be having in Lagos State in entertainment is to share that we have much more infrastructure that we are having today. Like today, now we, st we still lack some infrastructure that we can use to promote tourism. So in another 50 years, with our developmental plan, with the master plan that was commissioned last year, if we drive, continue to drive it passionately, so in another 30 years, we should be there, be the biggest African country that will be thriving in tourism, entertainment, and art. And also, in another 30 years, I believe, we will have been able to develop our film city to the full capacity. I mean, the Lagos State Film City that we are planning, we started already, and in another few years, it will come to completion. And when Lagos State is, is proud of that, then we'll be able to be the, one of the best Africa country in terms of entertainment and tourism. As, as well, we are looking at having the Tourism Endowment Fund. When this is established, the capital project in tourism, they'll be able to activate that through the Tourism Endowment Fund and through the amount of money that will be generated through the Lagos State Internal Revenue Generation, certain percentage of it will be coming into the Tourism Developmental Project. And this will increase massively the GDP of Lagos State through tourism and be able to develop a good market and create job opportunity for the team population of Lagosians in another few years to come. We are all aware of the Nollywood in Lagos State and the, the position of Nollywood in the world. And Lagos State government is not going to rest on their hours until we assume that first position in the world. And what Lagos State government has started doing from now that we know is going to yield the best results in another few years is training and capacity building in this sector. Presently, Lagos State has been able to build over 3,000 human capacity to compete globally in the Nollywood sector. And this will be bringing in foreign exchange to country, and that will be able to increase our GDP as a nation. So we've been able to put tourism in Lagos in the pedestrian that will assist further development of Nigeria as a whole. And also, we're, we're, we're trying to export our music. We have so many young, talented musicians in Lagos State, and we are trying to assist them. As we speak now, we started another training with Tempo, and which I believe when all those people graduate, they are going to ensure that they get the best in this music sector as well to continue to grow the, the GDP. So what we'll be doing in another few years to come is to continue the capacity building of our young, talented youths in Lagos State to be able to assume the best position in the world. Also, when we're done with this film city that we, I spoke about earlier on, the film city will be a place where all the artists can go to ensure they have the best film production in Nigeria. And this will assist in, de in further development of the Nollywood and music sector in Lagos State. And the Endowment Tourism Fund will as well assist people to actually assess loan with little or no interest to support the growth of the sector in another few years to come. And when we look at our master plan, our master plan speak into six strategic sectors. The first of it is the film, arts, and culture. And when we are talking about film, we already have the Lagos State uh, Film and Video Census Board, which is assisting and promoting the production of film. And we can see in recent years, a lot of investment has been junk into the film and entertainment in Lagos State. And as we speak, which is going to be continued, and we've continued to develop this, there are so many opportunities in this sector because of the eco ecosystem, the, 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 the chain that this sector is bringing on, on the table for people. We have people that are trained on cosmetologists, trained in different aspects of, of film production, the editing, the script writing, and so many other things. And when we continue with this platform, then Lagos State will make Nigeria 
be the best in the Nollywood and entertainment, entertainment sector. Also, we are having one of the sectors that we're, we're developing is MICE. What do we mean by MICE? MICE is meetings, incentive, conferences, and exhibition. We are trying to position ourselves to the city where all this can be happening. When we are talking about the conferences, this year alone, we know the number of conferences that has happened in Lagos State, and we know the huge amount of money this has been able to generate because when they come in for their conferences and meetings, they will definitely occupy the hotels, and the people in this sector will be able to make much money. And we, 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 we've been able to enable this environment for the private sector to actually thrive because they are, they are the ones running these businesses. The main function of the government is to make the the, the environment conducive for their business to thrive, and we're doing that passionately. So when we're talking about the meeting, incentives, conferences, and exhibition, Lagos State's government is trying, and we know in another 10 years, by the time we finish our uh, film city, we will have been able to accommodate like 10,000, 20,000 people at a time in the city of Lagos. And also we are having the, the, the culture and heritage. We, we, we've been able to position ourselves as a cultural people and people that search, that actually cherish their heritage. And that is why we've been able to add so much value to many of the heritage, heritage sites that we're having in Lagos State. Not long ago that Lagos State government has been able to commission the Flicate Slave Route, which is an heritage site. And we're going to finish up in the next few years, we'll be able to complete uh, the point of no return in Badagri, the infrastructure in Badagri, we have a beautiful facelift that the people from diaspora that want to trace their, their origin back to Africa, to Nigeria, to Lagos, they will be able to do that. And they can, they can add so much to what tourism is all about in Lagos State. Also, what we'll be expecting in another few years is the community-based tourism, because we actually believe that when you have tourism in your community and you've been able to appreciate what tourism is all about within the community. So what we are trying now is to ensure that the local government will always have the tourism desk in all the local government in Lagos State. And we've started that already. As we speak now, for the first ever years, we've been able to have tourism officers in all the 57 local governments and LCD that has been partnering with the state Ministry of Tourism, Art and Culture. So in another few years to come, we'll have been able to coordinate all the tourism officers in Lagos State in all the local governments and identify all the tourism assets that can be promoted through the community-based tourism. Also, presently we have just four or five cinema in Lagos State and I know with the infrastructure development that will be happening in the years to come, we will have been able to have cinemas and theaters in all the nooks and crannies of the state. And this can happen when we continue to allow the private sector to thrive. So we, we already have the uh, board, we have, and there's another important agency that will be coming up in Lagos State that will be able to promote everything that has to do with tourism. I think the, 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 the law has been passed already. It has been signed. The bill has been signed into law just for us to, to bring it to life. That is, we'll be calling it Tourism Promotion Agency. And when we have the Tourism Promotion Agency, they are so responsibility is to continue to promote all the tangible and intangible assets of tourism in Lagos State. And when we are doing that, this will assist the people within and outside, both the local tourists and international tourists, to see the beauty of all this tourism side. Because now we've, been, we've had so much, but for us to be able to promote it properly and appropriately, then that will help with that agency. Another thing that will be happening in another few years in Lagos State is about the Lagos Q4 batch. The Lagos Q4 batch is, is an initiative of this ministry to actually have the data of all the activities that, we, that used to happen in Lagos State. Everybody is aware that we, revive, we brand ourselves as a co for show. But this show, how many can we actually identify as government? So in the nearest future, no event or activities will be taking place without the involvement or approval of the government of the state. So we'll be able to capture these activities and see what value all these activities is adding to, to the economy of the state, to the GDP of the state, and how much job is being created with all these activities that we are talking about.
Then we are all aware that Lagos State is surrounded by water. We, we, we brand ourselves as the state with aquatic splendor. And we've not been able to do so much with our, with our beaches and our leisure our resorts. So in the nearest future, I believe we will have been much more better than the city they call Florida and the United States of America. Because we have the natural resources that can guide us to do all this, just for us to continue to put all the necessary resources together and encourage the private sector to own what needs to own and we continue to regulate them properly and appropriately. Thank you.